Alright, so this video we're going to be doing the ABS relocation on the S2000. I've mentioned it in the wire tuck video that we were going to separate it because the wire tuck and the ABS relocation video would probably be like a 45 minute thing and I'd rather split it up into two videos. So I got everything from JEGS. I didn't buy a kit. I measured everything out and I saved about 200 bucks versus buying a ABS relocation kit that's out already. It's all AN lines, all good fittings, all Russell fittings, excuse me. And we used All Star Performance for the actual lines. They're black, they're coated, and they look really nice. So I'll overview all the parts that we needed for this and the measurements of the lines so that way you can do it on your own. Now let's look at that now. All right, let's start off with the fittings needed. So you're gonna need an M10 by 1.0 to 3AN adapter. So you're going to need uh, 12 of them. It's the part number if it'll focus. So got those from JEGS. It's just the Russell M10 by 1.0. Not sure if I mentioned this, but the reason we need 12 of these is six of them are going to go in the ABS unit itself, two are going to go into the master cylinder, two are going to go into the prop valve. And then two are going to go to the brake lines that connect to the actual caliper themselves. Next you'll need four 3AN 90 degree bulkhead fittings. Nice little R1 passing by in the background. Then next for lines we'll need two dash 10, uh, dash three 10 inch lines. That's going to be from the master to the first two bulkheads. Uh, these are the 18 inch dash 3 with a 90 degree. This is going to go from the bottom of the bulkhead fittings to the feed for the ABS unit. Next one, this is from the ABS unit. We're going to go from front right. This this one front right up until the bulkhead fitting on the firewall to go over to the passenger side. Uh, what do we got? Got two 30 inch with a 90 3 AN lines, which are going to go to the front brakes. One from one from the actual ABS unit and one from the bulkhead fitting on the passenger side. Two 36 inch dash three hoses with a 90. These are gonna go to the prop valve on the bottom of the car for the rears. And then lastly, a 60 inch that's gonna go across the inside of the cabin from driver side to passenger side. That's gonna feed the next bulkhead fitting. That's gonna feed the front caliper. 60 is probably overkill, but it's better to have the extra length than come up short. And this one also has a 90 at the end. Almost all of them are gonna have 90s at the end. If I didn't mention it here, you'll see it as I'm putting them on in the car. The only two that don't have a 90 are the feed from the master cylinder to the bulkhead fittings. So let's start putting them on now. Let's get started with putting the fittings in first and see where we wanna put the two feed lines. That's the chips too. Oh, you can't prepare it. <laughs> so <we got> it. <laughs> what was you say? Oh no, it's the camera. Oh shit! Now move it. Totally. These are nine sixteenth size fittings. If you get the same Russell ones from Jags. sake never fails never fails was that take 35 dude you should have seen it like maybe five ten minutes ago i could not brain at all i just kept getting stuck <laughs> just like so what we're gonna do today i'm not sure what i'm doing here or where i am anymore <laughs> it's like jesus 
Like, they slap me stuck on something. Get it together then. Come on. Basically. <laughs> I think it's make, the car is making like a weird clucking sound. Like, not a clucking, but like, like something's hitting. Like a cluck, cluck, cluck. Yeah, on the left side. I'm like, what the fuck is that? It feels like something is hitting it. Like, it's it's like one of those... You know how the time works? It goes click, 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 and then bang. Like, it doesn't bang like that, but it's like it's like something that's like... It, it ramps up. And then when it reaches the amount of twerk, and it just like clicks, boom. And it stops? Yeah, it stops. It, it, it does it intermediately. Yeah, and it, it, it stops for a while. And it does it again. It's weird. I'm like, what the hell is that? There was something probably underneath it. Whatever. So I think I figured out where I want them. I'm gonna kind of have them do like an S turn. Well, kind of a question mark. Have them both side by side. There's already one hole there. Just gotta widen that up some. Put the bulkhead fitting through there, and then measure it out, line it up, drill the next one, put the second one there. All right. So we got the two feed lines ran. You could probably get away with doing a six inch with a 90 at the end, but I kind of wanted the question mark look like that, just because. Then we're gonna pop the fender off and get underneath and run the two feed lines to the ABS unit, kind of like how we have set up over here. So these will just come up, connect to the bulkhead fitting I have going through on the driver side frame rail there. And this will feed the other four where we have the two rears and the two fronts. And let's put that in and get it on the car now. But before you do that, you will have to bend the feet. You just take like a hammer and bend it so it shapes to the inside of the fender. The, the uh, foot right here needs to be cut off. And then the back over there needs to be bent as well. And then we got some mounting screws where we can just mount it onto the body. And then we can finish doing the other lines. And let's do that now. Alright, so we got the ABS unit mounted up fully. I'm going to check fender clearance. Hopefully it clears. Let's throw it on and take a look now. So it looks like we're in the clear. Probably have to bend it back a little bit just to be sure. But let's see a little focus. We got some space in between there. And it should be good enough. All right, let's get the next hole drilled and the next bulkhead fitting, and then we can run all the lines. And then underneath, we'll do the rears. All right, we got the guide hole drilled out and let's make the hole for the bulkhead fitting. Let's check the inside real quick because it looked like it was sparking up. Check the inside real quick because it looked like it was sparking up. Nope. All is good. Thank you for that. Let's just clean the hole out, deburr it real quick. I'm not sure which way the fittings have gone this side. Let me see. So, 
that fitting pushes in from the other side, comes through this way. So we set up the 60 with the straight end like that, and then the 90 will connect to the firewall on the other side. Feed for the passenger side done. Just noticing now, entirely was zoomed in on the bulkhead fitting, but we did all those ones as well. All right now, we're starting to run the rears. The rears are kind of easy, they tuck down underneath here, go behind the inner fender well, and then come back up to the prop valve, which is just about here. And then these are the two 36 inch lines. back on it won't um they won't protrude or catch the wheel all right so we got the rears connected it's basically the two 36 inch lines with the 90s coming down to the prop valve with the straight ends to the abs unit they come around and sort of tuck up behind the subframe and there's a little loop right there so you can zip tie them up which i'm gonna do and then they kind of follow their way back up towards the master so I'm, uh not the master but the abs unit and i guess we can move on to the front passenger side now since the rears are on all right so we got the wheel out of the way so we can drill the hole for the other bulkhead fitting we'll probably bring in a little closer just got to bring the tripod down Pr 
probably hitting about the same spot as we did on the driver's side. Probably about here. Just have to look on the inside, make sure there's nothing in the way. Checking on the other side. Be careful with the actual ABS unit itself. Mine took like a six inch fall to the ground from maybe, maybe like calf level, or in between calf and ankle. And it broke and splintered into a bunch of pieces. Luckily, I still have some of the locking tabs on the other side. So that should hold me over with mounting the wire harness if not may try to super glue this back together just so I have those tabs there or I might just throw a zip tie around it like one of the half inch thick or a quarter inch thick zip ties and just lock it in a place like that and that should hold as well so just want to take a moment to mention that one more thing I'm not connecting the front drivers just yet as I still need to get the brake hoses here. I'm not going to reuse the stock one since I'm changing everything else. Those are on order. Those will probably be here by the time I get back from vacation and then we'll just toss those in on another video when we're doing the brakes because it needs it. These are bad and I have a stuck caliper on the passenger side. And so just wanted to add that well in case anyone was like I forgot one. Didn't forget it. It was intentional. Let's go back to putting it all back together. All right, so we got the other hole drilled out. This one on this side, the straight goes in through the firewall and then 90 points, points inward towards the body. Let's just pop that guy through. And then jump on the other side. So we connected the passenger side line. Looks like it can probably go with a shorter line. So I'll edit in which one for you guys to get so you don't end up with this little S turn like that. I can probably get away with removing that kink by putting it behind the battery tray stabilizer. But we'll see as well as probably gonna have to zip tie it up so it's out of the way on this side. Again, same as the driver's side, not fully connecting it until I get the stainless steel braided brake lines to get rid of these old rubber hoses. And that's where we're gonna end this one for now, since there's no sense of putting fluid through it since it's just gonna run out the two fronts. So that's the end for this video. Um, there's not too many DIYs on the ABS relocation. So I figured I'd try to do one for you guys. If you want to follow it, by all means, if you want to use it as a point of reference to do yours a little bit better, do that as well. So let me know what you think in the bottom. Comment, like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.